All right, the Detroit Lions make last-minute changes before the game. We're going to get into Emmanuel Mosley, St. Brown, the defensive line, the secondary. A lot of good things and excited for this game. Let me know in the comments, though, before we start, who, what what team do you hate the most? For me, it is the Bears. Um, it used to be the Packers as well right there, but ever since Aaron Rodgers left, it's like, you know what, kind of respect you guys. Kind of respect how you draft and the whole thing, and I don't hate you. Once Aaron Rodgers left, so it's like it's the Bears, and then after that, I really don't, I really don't care. Um, Cowboys always, you know, I throw them in there. So let me know in the comments. So here's what we got. First, I'll get to Emmanuel Mosley in just a second. I think that's the biggest news. But we're going to start with St. Brown. Dan Campbell said that St. Brown may or may not return punts, and the fan base. And let me know in the comments on this one. It is kind of mixed on this because you know, you bet your life that he's going to catch the ball. And you're just going to get possession, our ball, first down, let's go. Love that. But you also know that back there, gosh, if you catch it, you got some room, you're going to try to make something happen. These guys are running full speed, and you're just going to get crushed and injured, right? It's just you have a higher probability of getting injured. So I like him back there. If you can literally tell him, listen, man, don't run. Like, just catch it and get us possession. And Or if you do have, like, plenty of room, catch it you know get five yards and get down you know it's hard to do that so let me know in the comments what you would do so dan campbell basically is saying he doesn't know yet he doesn't know what he's going to do in that position now the problem is behind st brown the next punt returners are like donovan peoples jones and um another guy on the practice squad that we'd have to elevate to get him in just for that so it's like all right you know what it's a guy that i don't care about he can get injured but is he going to catch the ball let me know. Let me know in the comments what you'd want to do for punt returner. That's change number one is we're just, just get St. Brown out of there. I think generally is what they're going to do. The second thing is Emmanuel Mosley, Dan Campbell said he will help in this game. And I think that's the perfect way to put it because we can't count on him, but it's also like, dude, this is nice. Because remember, he comes from San Francisco. He's a rising star with the Niners so much so that they – they can't resign him or choose not to. Plus, he had the the ACL injury, and that was remembered um, Brad Holmes' strategy a couple of years ago. Might still also might still be going in the future, but people are like in win now mode, and, and Brad Holmes was playing the long game, and so he could find these guys that had ACL injuries that would be cheaper, and they're good but cheaper, and you could bring them in, wait a year, they come back. Well, he was one of those guys, had another season-ending injury, then almost another one this year, but he's going to get back in time to help us out. So this is good because we have Kendall Vildor and Dorsey that are solid, very, I mean, actually incredible, Dorsey especially on special teams, but we don't want them covering DJ Moore right in this game. We, we can't have that once in a while or whatever right but if it's just like send them out there constantly that's not good we know that game time decision is going to be carlton davis huge because now we we need to depend on mosley terry arnold amik robertson that's going to be the change is get more mosley in there mosley's going to play more kindle vildor and dorsey less and so you got mosley terry arnold and um, amik robertson are going to kind of take on the outsides and then I'd rather then what we could see is Brian Branch drop down to the nickel as Amik Robertson pushes out. Then you bring in um, the other Joseph safety. I feel less um, exposed if we bring in Joseph at safety versus Vildor at corner. Way less exposed. Vildor is not bad. I mean, honestly, everyone's like, oh, he's talking. Well, yeah, I mean, he's a, someone put in the comments. I thought it was perfect. He's a CB5. Uh, you know, and, and so he's, the, he's not, he hasn't been out there and I think he's okay, but it's like, man, we got to have some, somebody else better than that. So that's, uh, that's change number two. One other change for you that I, I think is kind of interesting. Um, I think it's really interesting. Actually, let me pull this up. This is from last game where we saw snap counts from the defensive ends and what you'll see here is james houston has been released i thought he was playing better and i thought every time he's out there he plays not bad he's not terrible but 
it must be a thing where he's just not practicing hard. He must not be on time. He must not know his plays. There's something more that we don't know of, obviously, because he gets released. So James Houston out. That means more Josh Pascal, Zadarius Smith, Levi Onwuzurike, and now we got to find that other edge rusher who will probably be Muhammad, who played well when he was in there. I was surprised to see him inactive. So it's like James Houston out, Muhammad in for this, and he has been he'd been playing well up until we got Zadarius Smith, and then he kind of vanished. So keep an eye on that one. That will be really interesting. Now, I think you've I think we've seen now that Khalif Raymond, you probably learned by now, has gone to IR, but um, it's not again, it's not a season ender, thankfully. And you see all that. So th- these are the um, so speaking of injuries, these are the the three guys that are kind of game time decision is going to be Carlton Davis, David Montgomery and Taylor Decker. If I had to rank those in order of like most important, it'd be Carlton Davis, Taylor Decker and then um, David Montgomery, I think. Just because we we do have this is why you have two backs because you can you got another guy that you can plug in there no problem so let me know your thoughts in the comments on that one uh, but he's you know Taylor Decker it's like dude gosh we're different without him we're different without unless our five offensive linemen are in there then it just gets real different it's like gosh I don't like that okay as you look at this game. Good news, bad news. The good news is that the Bears' defense has not been as dominant as they were trending there for a while. That's good news. The bad news is their offense has really picked it up, and so it's like, okay, I don't know if I don't know if I like this or what. So it's really good to see that we've got opportunities to run the ball against these guys. I think we can absolutely do that, and if we run the ball, it's just we're. You can't beat us. There's no way. Because, shockingly, at, a, at an incredible rate, the Lions stop the run. So, when you run the ball and stop the run, that's the formula. And that's the Lions. Like, if someone has been watching the Lions as closely as, like, we all do, and was just like, what's this? What's the secret? It's like, dude, we run the ball, which then creates, and then we, then we just do everything so well off of the run. We run the football, and then on defense, we stop the run. And even last year, we stopped the run, but we gave up big plays offensively, you know, the whole thing, and it was just like, ah, it just wasn't great. Now we stop the run and stop the pass, and, and we're sticky in coverage. So that's why the corners are so important. Okay, a couple other things that um, I wanted to show you was for the Bears, um, their pass defense is still strong. You can see kind of where they're at. Middle of the road to top of the league in pass defense. But run defense hasn't been as strong as they were. Remember, this team was just tricky on us last year. But we're in a good place um, going into this game. So, again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Emmanuel Mosley is going to be huge. Rising star from San Francisco that we now have. We're going to... F- James Houston, see ya. We got to figure that out. We're going to make it happen. St. Brown's not doing any punt returns. We're going to make this happen. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see all of you on the next one.